Hello and welcome to a, another Dofus English Quest tutorial. This one is called In Search of a Lost Time. So the previous one we've just completed is called Don't Judge a Book by Its Cover. And now that we've finished that, we're on to the next one. This one is quite a, quite a bit more difficult. So you have to be um, a paid to play uh, you have to be a subscriber, I think they call it, to be able to do this one. So, previously the last one we did was all the way in Astra. So this is a new account, so I haven't had any of these zaps, so I was just running along and got quite a few of these zaps. Um, so I can jump around when I need. So, firstly what you need to do is come to 725. Um, and to make this a lot easier, you'll want the 1022 zap and the minus one twenty four zap. Now we also have to uh, buy an appy, so an apple, but they just call it an appy. And the graphics on it look like it's been drawn back in the Dofus one days. But anyway, so once we're at seven uh, twenty five, we go inside and we talk to Jeff Stobbs. Oh, I was just clicking through that because there's so much talk there. Uh, leave and go find an appy. Now we already have one appy, so we can give him the appy. And then so now we have to find the first, second, and third lost item. So now that we're here, we're just going to run across to the zap, which is, I'm pretty sure you just go all the way across. I think you do have to go down one eventually. So to get the lost items, what we have to do is uh, fight a Quowen man. And these are, one is a level 30, another one is a level 30, and then we have to beat two level 20s. I think I have to go back actually. And we'll go down one and, and, and across. So once we've defeated them, we get three items and we go back to Jeff. And then the quest is complete. So this is a little bit harder than a typical quest because you do need the pay to play and you also need those zaps to make it a lot easier. You can run, but it's um, definitely a lot easier. So we want to go to the 10, we'll go to the 1022 zap first. So, and so this one, one of them is at 921. So that's just across left one, up one. So we'll go up and left. So to find this one, what we'll do is you click on the Y key to see what you need to interact with. So you can see we need to click on the, um, the crate here. So we click on the crate and that'll enter us into a fight against this level 30. So you can hear my dog moving in the background. So he's got 500 health. Um, resistance pretty low except for agility. 20. So it's not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll hit him with this. And I'll use my living bag. And then let, I'll do the challenge if I can as well. So he takes MP. He hits for 35. Hits for 12. And gives himself he steals MP. So we'll just try and hit him and kill him as quick as we can. He doesn't seem to hit too hard. So we'll just do our attacks and we'll be able to kill him next turn. So it just takes movement points basically, it does a little bit of damage but hasn't even done enough damage to kill the living bag. So, so you can see that the first item's done. 
and there's also one at 716 so that's a bit of a run but what we'll do is we'll go do that one and then we can come back and do the last one which is at 126 so I think that's the same map as the Scaraleaf um, dungeon so what we'll do is we'll just go do this one first so 716 So just up two more maps. And the same thing again, if we're not too sure we just click the Y key once the page loads and you can see that there's this little rock up here that we can click on. And we'll go into here and then we click on the Wabbit Tomb, so if you're not sure you just click the Y key, click on the Wabbit Tomb and then we're in a fight against two of them. So, I might start here, and I'm not gonna worry about the challenge. Can I hit both of them? I can't, that's okay. Do that, then living bag. And I'll just go through the fight and kill them. And then I'll probably stop the video to run across to the next fight, and then complete that and oh not sure why he's all the way there that's okay i'll kill him and then yes i'll show you the fire and then we'll go back to jeff and we'll see the end of the quest hopefully he runs to me so i can get some good damage down nope oh we'll just do it on you So he'll be dead next turn, and then that'll take a few turns to kill the next one. They're in good position for me. He doesn't run. He does run. Uh, we'll hit you anyway. Make sure you're dead. And we'll take you out next turn. Ah, they do a little bit of damage. Definitely not enough. So we've retrieved, now that's the third item, so we'll go there, click on that to get back out and I'll pause the video, go to the other one and then record that fight. So we're at the technically the second last item but it's the third one that we've done because we've uh, completed the other two. So now that we're at 126 what we can do is click the Y key and we can see that this stone here is highlighted. So we can click on that and then we'll enter in a fight here. So what I'll do is I'll just do the same sequence. I'll uh, hit him and then I'll put the living bag. And we'll just keep hitting him till he's dead. So they're not. So take your movement points, so you probably do want to be close even if you are from range. I don't know what he does from range, but he d it doesn't seem like he does enough from long distance anyway to be too concerned. He hasn't even come close to ki killing the living bag. They did when there was two, uh, but that was pretty easy. So now we can take the three items back to Jeff. So if we look at our map, once it loads, so we're here and we have to take it back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run to the zap and zap back to the Sufokia and then just run across and go back to Jeff. I don't know if it's because the maps haven't been cached, but the maps seem to be taking an awfully long time to load. It's not even internet lag like I'm usually having an issue with. It feels like a caching issue, I'm thinking. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll go here, we'll go to the Sufokia. Someone has to tell me how to pronounce that. Uh, which one is it? 1326, that one. 
cool. So then now we know we have to go across and up one and then continue left. Or maybe there's one more, we go left and then up and then continue all the way through left. There it is. Now that we have the three lost items, I'm not sure what they even are, they're probably just... Oh. Questionable stone. <laughs> right. Continue our way left. We'll go back to Jeff and complete this quest. That's another quest completed. And we'll just continue working our way through all the quests. There's a lot of them. But we'll just continue working through them. See how far we can get. So talk to Jeff, hand over the three items, and the quest has been completed. In search of a, in search of what is it? In search of a lost time. Um, information. What did we get? So we got quest finished in search of a lost time. You can see that's all finished. So we got a Stobbs mask. And we got 273,000 experience and 1,400 commas. So, thanks for watching.